Hello, I'm Matt Peterson, Quinn Global US, and today we're going to be talking about TensorGrip G67 for flooring adhesive. The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to set up our canister. So in my hand, I've got a gun, sorry, I have a hose and a wrench, and we're, I have a gun over here on, this, on the trolley, and I have the canister here. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is take the, uh, this, this happens to be a 12 foot hose. It has two different sized ends. You want to take the smaller end, and we're going to connect that up to the canister. <clears throat> And what we typically recommend is get it finger tight, use an adjustable wrench, and go about an eighth to a quarter of a turn past finger tight to tighten it onto the canister. The next thing we'll do is take the other end and connect it to the gun. Same basic procedure on the gun end. Finger tight plus about another eighth to a quarter of a turn. Just snug it up. It doesn't have to be ridiculously tight. Finally, we've got a tip on the top of every canister. Inside this little plastic bag, you will find on your canister a brand new brass tip. <clears throat> now, this tip is gonna go inside this retaining nut on the gun. One thing I'd like to point out is that sometimes people will attempt to remove this uh, needle seat on the gun. Do not remove this. Make sure this seat stays in place. Only remove the retaining nut. So the tip goes inside the nut and then is threaded on to the end of the gun. I typically recommend that the uh, tip is in line with the gun. So you want it to, to line up with the gun like so. And again, just, uh, just snug it up. It doesn't have to be terribly tight. <clears throat> we'll hang the wrench on the cart and we're ready to open the valve. So the next thing we're going to do with our TensorGrip G67, we've got our gun and hose all hooked up, everything's nice and snug, uh, tip is in place, so the next thing to do is to carefully turn the canister on, and when you do this you'll hear a release of pressure and you'll feel some pressure go into the hose. Next thing we'll do is we'll wind back our adjustment and locking knob here to give us the, to open up the gun, and then we're going to test the spray on a piece of cardboard. I always recommend testing the spray on some cardboard or, or something else before you actually apply it to the floor. Because you want to make sure that you don't get any um, poor spray patterns. And one thing you might notice here is I'm adjusting this knob back to get a, a wider spray pattern and to put more product down. So that's about the kind of pattern we're looking for and also show that you can do you can spray close and get a, a heavy pattern or we're going to spray far away to get a, more of a snowflake pattern and then you'll notice on the end of the tip here there is always going to be a small amount of residual adhesive you can wipe that off with a wet rag or dip it in a bucket of water to keep the tip good uh, since we're going to spray right away there's probably nothing that i need to do with it next thing i'll do is i'm going to put my canister into my trolley. <clears throat> this makes it easier to move around and because uh, we don't want extra hose dragging in the adhesive I'm gonna wind it around uh, the hooks on the trolley and then I can always put the gun into the retainer. So now I'm ready to spray my floor. <clears throat> 